Let me tell you a little bit about Yabby U, one of the great roots reggae musicians of all time, yet someone whose name is still little known, and that's something I would like to rectify. Vivian Jackson was his given name, but Yabby U was his nom de plume, nom de reggae. I first encountered Deliver Me From My Enemies, one of his great anthems back in 1977, and was so inspired that I had to track down this mysterious figure who never seemed to tour outside of Jamaica, whose recordings were hardly ever regularly available, and yet the music was deep, profound, as great as anything that was coming out of Jamaica, on the level of Burning Spear, culture, Augustus Pablo. I never dreamed that I would meet Gabby Yu, but when I went to Jamaica for the first time, the late Hugh Mundell, the late great singer Hugh Mundell, was showing me around and when I mentioned to him how wonderful it would be to meet Yabby Yu, he kind of chuckled and said, just don't worry, wait a minute. The next day he walked into my hotel room and said, meet Yabby Yu. Yabby came in on crutches because he had been crippled by rheumatoid arthritis for many years. He sat down and immediately, without preamble, began reciting some biblical verses and speaking of spiritual matters. Well, we talked for quite a while. It developed that he had stopped recording for several years because he was concerned about the piracy of his music in England. So I proposed to him that we release some of his music in America because I wanted to bring it to people's attention there and it had never been released there. So we struck a deal and we did bring the music out. One of the most fabulous things about that was not only that people heard his music in America for the first time, but Yabby was inspired to go back in the studio and record for the first time in many years. Now many people can never match their earliest work and when they record later in life often the results are disappointing. But when Yabby U recorded Fleeing from the City, it was just as inspirational as that music that I first heard. So I'm here to tell you the story of Yabby U. In my book called Great Spirits, Portraits of Life-Changing World Music Artists, I spend a chapter on Yabby U, a life-changing musical force known as the Jesus Dread, and I explain why in that book. So if you'd like to know more, go to www.greatspiritsmedia.com and I'll tell you all about Vivian Jackson, Yabby U.